I had actually just finished three, probably three films in a row that were all either crime movies or uh, thrillers, and I really wanted to do something different. I wasn't sure what it was, and I looked up some old ideas I had, and one of, an idea that I had had years earlier was a, to do a jousting movie, and I never knew what to do with it. And so I started to look at uh, some of my old notes and realized that I didn't have enough there to tell a story, and I began doing more research. And I came across a line uh, in the research that you had to be of noble birth to compete in uh, tournaments in, back in the day. That right away kicked me off on the idea, and it always seemed like a fun idea. It was a youthful idea. It's a sports movie, basically, set in medieval Europe, and jousting actually was a sport um, in medieval Europe. And it just sounded like a fun, different thing to do than what I had been doing up until that point. When I first decided to have Chaucer as a character, I did some research on his life, and there was a period of his life where he disappeared for six months, where no one knew where he was. And so I set the story in that time period, so it explained why, only, maybe only a Chaucer scholar would care, but it explains where he was. It was he was on tour with these, with these jousters when he was missing. You know, I researched the names of the books he wrote and the poems he wrote so that he can reference them to comedic effect. He talks about the Book of the Duchess, which he wrote, and of course the guys don't know what he's talking about. And it wasn't hard to incorporate him because what I did was I researched Chaucer and then I twisted things about his life into, into my story. So it actually made it easier to write him than, than more difficult to, to write him. I get asked a lot about the music in Knight's Tale, and um, it's funny because what you're fighting is, is, is uh, people say you can't have rock music in a, in a medieval movie, but what they're really, the real objection is what film music should be, because the answer, I'd always say to people, if it was violins and cellos and all that, would, would you accept that music? And they say, yeah, of course, except violins and cellos hadn't been invented in 1370. So it's an odd thing that you don't, you're happy to hear violins, but guitars are, are, are throw people off a little bit. But um, the movie happens in 1370, and there was a, my attitude was the 70s have always been the 70s. And so the music is all 70s music, and a lot of it is, is, is uh, stadium rock music. So that's the, the, the theory really is that it, it's always the 70s. It doesn't matter what the first two numbers are. Um, and also, as far as that goes, when we did the costume design, we knew we didn't want um, guys running around in tights just because it's off-putting for, it, it, it pushes the audience away. It's like, it's a 1940s movie with everyone with hats on. You, it takes a while to get over the fact that you're looking at something that doesn't make sense to you anymore. But the costume designer, Caroline Harris, came to me one day and said, these guys should look like the Rolling Stones on the 1973 tour. And she had a bunch of photo references of Keith Richards with leather chaps and stuff like that. So that's what we, we tried to make the guys look like that rather than guys in tights. The thing about action in a movie is if it's done really well, action should be part of the character. And in this movie, the, the action of the movie is, is, is part of his struggle and part of his journey to go from being a peasant to being a knight. And within that, he's falling in love with a princess and trying to change everything about himself. And it all revolves around the action in the movie, which is tournaments he has to win. So it actually, the, the two things, I think, complemented each other naturally. We were um, rehearsing um, a jousting scene, and Heath and I were going through it with broom handles and the end of a C stand, um, which you might see in the background here. And um, he kind of mishit and knocked my front tooth out, which led me to a Russian dentist in a Czech dental clinic, which is not where you want to be um, at any given moment.
there, there's a funny thing about a film when you make it. It's very hard to watch it and enjoy it because you've seen everything, especially if you've directed it. You've seen everything 50 times. You've been in the editing room for everything. Um, and the same for an actor. He's done all of his, his lines over and over again. He's, he's looped them. He's done everything. So it's very hard to sit and watch the end product for everybody that made the movie. But what, what I always loved the most about Knight's Tale is he told me once that when he watched it, he said it was uh, like a photo album of how much fun he had uh, making the movie. And he'd always have that great photo album of that great time he had. And, uh, and that's what it is for me. It's a photo album of, of a great guy and uh, <clears throat> a great time.